Hello, hello, my lovelies. Sigita here. And look, we are going to do journaling today. A little, a tiny, uh, tiny page. Uh, because just simply to show you how I'm using a little wire in a journal as well. So this is a trilogy. It is actual book cover from my country and it is, if you can see here, is trilogy. So that I uh, just decided to keep the same kind of title. So I have been stitching and echo dying a lot. So pages are thick and quite a lot of look i think this is my favorite page oh this is oiled remember i was doing this oiled paper packs as well and look on this page i made really nice tiny flower out of wire so we will be doing that as well so this is how this journal is a lot of stitching and echo printing uh, this I was just doing on Piatron. I love this page. Oh, this one's on Piatron as well. <clears throat> so, stuff like that. I will add some more, I think, plainish pages. And that's about it. It's almost done. Um, if you are interested, this is kind of reserved. But I will take... If someone wants it, I will take second reservation as well for this journal. If no, uh, it's going to be on, on uh, my uh, coffee shop. But I will be making videos, so no worries about that. So, but this is really like quite calm to Compared to my previous journals, there was like a lot of color. This is more like calmish, really grungy stitching and echo prints, right? Talking about echo prints, guys, if you haven't seen my previous videos, I am making batches of fabrics. Um, This is not done yet. I'm just showing you that I am making another batch of fabrics. Rusted echo. I'll show you. So it's going to be some tie dyed with rust. Look, it's going to have nice prints. Uh, that like this. Look, and look at this echo print. Oh my lord! Uh, this color is actually all linen, all linen, lightweight linen. Um. Actual color is this yellowish, right? Uh, linen is actual color, but then we have rust and we have echo print as well. So quite, uh, you know, steps to do, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So at the moment, it does look like I'm going to make four. This is just simply just dark rust, and then I have look, just print on linen on grey linen as well uh, and then I have absolutely gorgeous rust on linen on grey grey based okay not white grey based gorgeous look at that color so different sizes different like uh, you know look how gorgeous this uh, is uh, I still have some uh, to do right it's not done i'm just showing you uh one is uh, one set is reserved already for evelyn but yeah if you are interested uh, will be a youtube video as well so no worries about that these i think if you know some <laughs> will be left um these i will put on itsy but it will be video i will show you and tell you because i have to put something on itsy as well to show you that such a shop actually <laughs> does work right so yeah but absolutely gorgeous gorgeous i love that i love these prints I'll, is 
Arast is Arast and Echo Prince are Echo Prince only. Then is tie dye with Rust. Beautiful techniques. Uh, do I have video now? Will I do not even on Piltron? Will I going to do that? Uh, no, not at the moment. Uh, simply because uh, I'm working in my kitchen, in my bathroom, outside in the garden. And that is, I don't have um, that phone holder. I have one, like, attached to my table, and that's about it. And I cannot, obviously, uh, feel me uh, holding uh, in my hands. So, yeah, at the moment, it's just kind of, uh, yeah. But uh, you will have a gorgeous fabrics to work on. Love it. Right, my lovelies. So... Uh, this as well, this went out from uh, Ecodite Bath. And it is black. And this is really, well, I, I think I have another one. What I love. So this is all um, glued down. I used a matte gel to glue it down. It's nice and matte. It's not shiny. And beautiful black, right? I love it. It's so different. It's not green or whatever, but it's black. So from Echo Dyed above, you can easily take out um, your plants and you still can use it in your journals. So, okay, let's have a look what we can do. Uh, okay, uh, and as well, I made a little soft envelope. It's very soft. I'm not going to coffee stain or whatever, or 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 um, glue, put glue on because it's, it's nice echo dyed, and I'm not uh, I'm not uh, stiffening it. It's going to be in a journal. This is it's going to be in a journal too. Right, pictures I'm using mostly are from Art House Whimsy. I love her pictures. Beautiful, uh, beautiful, beautifully done, beautifully, I would say, generated. So, yeah, I love it. Under here, I have as well linen, but that linen I had, like, not the best transfer. And um, I went over with white paint to kind of color the transfer uh, to cover it. And then I still can use it. I don't want to chuck it out. It's nice, nice fabrics. And this is what it was. And I still went over a little bit with a kind of coffee. All right. Papers are thick. These are actually gray kind of cardstock gray like packaging but it's not packaging it's more like a gray cardstock like matte it's not shiny and i would love to actually i think i would love to put some a um, that wire flower on this page and to show you as well nice and easy uh, very nice and fine wire. Is I have black one, meant for arts and crafts. You can use whatever you have at home. So let's just do nice and easy page. Rest I have on Pietron. And um, a lot of videos on Piertron, uh, you know, I uh, don't want to repeat it, but it's like, I want to say thousands, it's hundreds of videos. So you, if you are interested in grunge and, and, and vintage and grunge, then you can learn a lot. Right. And as well, what I wanted to say, thank you so much. 
because this is only what I have on my table. I have received a huge box of Happy Mail from May from Saudi Arabia. That's a long way to me. It it was a little funny, you know, I will have to say that. Little, little funny, this all thingy. But I, I received gorgeous, gorgeous items. I have never seen so many, so much gold, I think, in my goldish, you know, uh, stuff in my life. Uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful stuff. Um, like extra large box. I have never received such a big one. And this is why I just put on my table because I actually added somewhere. I think this is like kind of banner long piece. I just cut it off a little bit. Uh, look at this gold is gorgeous every piece and even this piece is enough for me for a long time and that box I think it for is for my next 10 years because I'm using gold just a little bit in my work and she put in as well large journal like la like extra large uh yeah, I have never seen um, such a large journal as well in my life. But, it, yeah, it was very interesting how, you know, um, people are from different countries. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So, yeah, this is what I'm, you, uh, I put on my table and I can uh, use. So, thank you so, so much. That was absolutely... I put a picture on my... Um, instagram in the story so if you are interested but yeah um just you know beautiful but as i said it will be enough for <laughs> for my next 10 years but i have beautiful stuff like really like like be like rich in a beauty <laughs> so nice and something nice and calm nice and calm and not a lot of not a lot of red in this journal as well just a little bit now and there so I don't want to really cover all this I love this piece, and this piece is from Susan. I love how she, she colored it. Yeah, let's use that. <clears throat> yeah, and that box was... It's just like timing, guys, was more than perfect. It arrived exactly on my birthday. So, yeah, yesterday was my birthday. <laughs> and it arrived right on my birthday. So, that was like, wow. The biggest birthday present ever. Okay, do I want to hide this scene? I don't think so. I would rather go like that, okay. Yes, yeah, so my lovelies, uh, this journal is going to be, yeah, as I said, if no one reserves anymore, uh, then probably, let's see how it goes. And uh, fabrics will be available as well. I am kind of, what's today? Friday. I'm kind of aiming on some to, to for Sunday, but let's see. See how all that goes. Right, this page, inspirational page. Um, why I put title like that for my videos? Because, guys, I think we need more inspiration because art really you you need inspiration, and I know from myself. Um, because technical thing, yeah, technical things, how to, 
make a little box, how to make a little pocket. How that's that's different, but page most of the time is um, inspirational. No, not really how to make it. I want something on the side. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is better. And in this journal, I was using, I make using, yeah, using a little bit uh, different layering technique as well as normally I would do. <clears throat> and what else I want to make? I want to do. I have to look for uh, how many I have eco printed papers, and I just want uh, blank eco print papers only uh, journal. I think that would be interesting. Eco prints only, All right? And like, of course, embellished cover, but that's about it. Just embellished cover. I like it when it's perfect, some no, depending. Right, what else we could do, guys? I want to put the, uh, I want something stitched as well. Maybe it's a little bit too big. So if I do stitched, what's this? Uh, oh, I can go through. So if I do stitched this, and I can push kind of that flower under it. So let's have a look. I am really keen on green now. Look on this kind of green. Ah, look, I put a little tiny bit. So if I'm using such a tiny bit, you can imagine <laughs> how long that I will have. Uh, yeah, accidentally I stitched this on as well, but that's completely fine. Um, so what I wanted to say, yeah. I wanted to say that I um, uh, went on that I use that green a lot uh, in this journal but here I think I will use black so little seed stitching and I think I need a little bit a little bit of white And then I can put like that. Look at this. Straight away is really nice and bright look. Nice and bright. And we can easily do six stitching. Right, so I will do black seed stitching, very tiny stitches, right, like this, whatever way you like, doesn't really matter. I, uh, yeah, story, little story about stitching. 
um, it's not a story, it's just, you know. So, on, I was talking, uh, telling uh, as well on my Piotr, my girls, it's just a little, you know, thing. From me, all, that's my opinion. Um, on Facebook, I have seen quite a few, but one specially lady. She, I think that Facebook group was slow stitching, but I could be wrong, but I think it was. A lady posted a little uh, slow stitched piece, right? And she's like, I don't like it, and what I did wrong, and this and that, and that piece does look horrible, and blah, blah, blah. I looked at it first, that piece wasn't horrible whatsoever, right? And second, I looked, I didn't write anything to her, but I was thinking, kind of, what's wrong with it, or why she didn't like it. And my uh, view on it was that she was doing stitching. Well, any, every, like This is like my personal opinion, but that maybe is useful for you as well. So stitching. You do stitching, and a lot of people do little stitching there and little stitching there, like little stitching, and that's it. That little stitching, guys, doesn't do anything. Like, this little stitching here wouldn't do a thing. Right? You have to stitch it to make, like, little statement um, area with that stitching. Right? And that lady as well, she stitched little bit around and then little couple stitches like in a la in a lines, I think on a side. Too little. For stitching, guys, you have to stitch a lot to make piece. Uh quick I me, mean, I don't know why I can What's like here? Look. I was stitching and stitching and very, very close. And if I would do just a couple of stitches, it wouldn't say anything. There is no point to do that. Unless you do a little cluster and you have three, like, crosses or two, or whatever, that's fine. But for, like, stitching like this, you stitch a lot. Look, you make that area absolutely, like, statement area. Right? So this was... Like, I was like, okay, I like, from my point of view, I can see why you don't like it. It's too little of stitching. So, today's advice, not advice, yeah, okay, today's tip. Today's tip. And you are stitching, and you have to stitch quite closely. And if you like here, I think it's a little bit too, even this is a little bit too... Far away from each other to a what's a word? So you still can put some little stitches in between, right? To look straight, look, even this couple two stitches made a difference. You come to make more closely, close, you know. Like that area, don't stitch like one, two, three. It doesn't say anything. It wouldn't make like statement, a uh, stitched little statement. Even little stitched bits, even like this. Close, close stitching, guys. Unless, Rick, unless your, unless your, um, Um, what's a word? I'm losing words today. Um, or unless your design is different, right? And your idea is completely different. But I'm, this is, I'm talking about journals and stitching, okay? And especially seed stitching. Unlike now, I'm not going to stitch all that piece. I don't need to stitch all that piece. I will stitch just this, this little area here. Look, like this. Maybe I will put one or two stitches over on on a picture. Oh, sorry, guys, on a picture as well to kind of 
uh, join that picture with that oh sorry or oh, with that little piece together all right look one more and i'll be done it does take time but it does look really nice <clears throat> And the same time, as always, I say, and the same time you are having stitched on other side of the page. Right, okay, I am liking this. I am quite liking this. And now to the main part. I am using very tiny, guys. Look how tiny that wire is. You don't need... This is whatever all in art, jewelry, supplies, whatever. Um, 0 0.4 millimeters, tiny one. You don't need a bigger one. So uh, I'm not on a white. So I'm not using any tools, right? No tools, guys. What I was doing is somewhere in the middle. Like a kind of, I left this for a stem. So I'm f just forming little flowers. And then what I did, like I'm holding and I'm like going around with that wire. With that wire. All right. To make a little like knot. And then I make another petal. Right, and then I'm taking this loose one to go around. Right, I'm just making like knots in a center, and then I'm going around with that knot, not a loose wire. I make, and I'm see, I'm just kind of waving these petals in to hold it tight. Whatever way you are getting these petals together, it's absolutely fine. And look. And see, it forms little center for the flower. So this is a loose one. Okay, I will do like that. See, I'm just waving whatever away around. I'm making center by the same... At uh, the same time, uh, these petals are holding together. Look like this. And you don't have to make... Uh, this is why I'm not using any tool. Like uh, Some would do like um, pen or pencil in between to have uh, the same shape. No way, guys. This is not that case. The looser they are, the more free hand, the better. And look, I'm just going around like that, a little bit pulling. And let's see, you have a flower. I hope, guys, you, you were able to see. Uh, yeah, because sun is turning this way. It's late afternoon. So you just wave around. So now I am kind of right kind of like two wires I have now. And because my are so tiny, look, I'm just waving them together to make a stem. And that's about it. You have look wired flower. Beautiful. And we are going to attach it here. Oh, look at that. I like it. Really nice. It completely makes your book mixed media, your journal, straight away. You know I love mixed media. Mixed media. What's mixed media? Who doesn't know yet? You use fabrics, paints, 
uh, laces, threads, wire, metallic items, rusted items. You use everything like that, right? That's mixed media. And my is like grunge mixed media, rusty grunge mixed media. Right, so I will have a look where I want to place it. It's too long, it's too long. So I want to still lift a little bit this uh -huh. <clears throat> I don't think I will be able to get through. No. Okay, I will leave it. I don't want to tear anything. So now you can push it under if you can. If no, I will attach you like that I just want to pull it push it through soon <clears throat> all right attaching I'm not gluing it all right I'm going to stitch it down for stitching down I'm using the same black thread but I'm, uh, I'm not using six strands anymore I'm using three so I am dividing it, right, for um, for it not to stand up, really, that I am attaching it down. So a little bit. Right, naughty, naughty. And nicely holding in a place where you want it. I'm not uh, stitching all petals down, look, just a couple. To help it, you can slightly, right, to hold down for now. Right, and I'm doing second. Right. And I'm done. So I am not going to pull it over to another petal. I will tie a knot here. I will do one by one. Okay, so that's one. Let's have a look. All right, I can do now stitching down there on the fabric. <clears throat> like four, I'm doing three stitches to get that end, you know, quite stable. To do these things as well, guys, you need a uh, thicker paper or you glue together two copy papers um, <clears throat> just to hold it down everything nicely. Otherwise, that page, just single copy paper won't hold stuff like that. This is why I lately, not us lately anymore, but I make, I'm using thicker pages uh, simply... I can put more on, you know, and everything is kept down nicely. Okay, I will do this one, this petal here. 
and they spread over here. You can uh, stitch down all petals if you like, right? And if it's, I just uh, want to keep these two, I think, free loose. It's like a little bit more texture. All right. And this is what I want to show you guys. You can do, of course, different, uh, different designs. It's not like flower. But this was the easiest way. This is really, guys, the easiest way. Right? Is it okay now? So you just, I will do bigger just to show you that, okay? You do this. Like making petal. And we just make a little more. Kind of. And then from this another one you make another petal. Look large one. And then you go around. This. whatever way guys there is no way whatever way feels easier and you is um, important important thing is to tie everything down in a center to hold them that's about it look i'm holding and i'm just knotting them down all right and then i can form petal here and again, I'm look, this is I formed petal, and with the same, I'm going around this way. I still can go around this way just to make sure it's tied down, and I can form another petal here. I love this, this is so fun, guys. Right. So that wire is soft. I would love to switch maybe this. Let's see. You can make whatever way you like. And then you cut it off. Right? And then you twist your wire. And look. You don't need a perfect center. You don't need perfect petals. That's the fun, guys. Okay? Please don't try to do perfect. Just enjoy making it. It's the same like you are painting. Uh, you are painting any flower or leaf or whatever. You just do it. I love that center. Look these petals and you can form them afterwards when you uh, stop sew it down you can pull them out you can make them more fat look and, and i think you still you can do as well a uh, leaf if you want so leave you would do this way and then actually you can twist and you pull that this down and you would have leave of course it's enough um not enough wire because as i cut it too early i didn't think about leave but you can do leave too if you like i'm not so i will be fine just with a flower so my lovelies hopefully this idea and little bit cha was Actually, I can use was fine with you. Was kind of inspirational for you guys. All right. And oh yeah, I can still do.
can do another flower here. Who said you can't have two flowers? And we done, my lovelies. Go over with water to keep it. Nice. Look at that. Perfecto. So, my lovelies, I hope that this was a little bit inspirational for you. See you very soon with journals and with fabrics. Have a great weekend. Bye.